Every LEGO Star Wars May 4th set has officially been revealed, and now thanks to BrickClicker we have all the information on double and quadruple insider points, as well as a couple sets that are going to be on sale. Alright, let's jump into the sets that are going to be on sale, and there's going to be three of them. Starting off with set 75371, the buildable Chewbacca. This set was originally $200, and now it's going to be on sale for $165. I think this is great, it's a set that's going to be retiring at the end of the year, and it's one that I feel people are sort of coming around to, especially with the buildable C-3PO coming out and then the miniature $100 LEGO R2 detail, all the R2-D2, can't even speak. Um, <laughs> all the sets are going to supposedly be around in-universe scale to one another or something similar to it. I mean, obviously R2 is way smaller than Chewbacca and C-3PO, so it'll be nice to have those three characters all paired up once with once with one another okay words are, are my thing right now but it, it'll be nice for them to all be paired up with one another uh so if you want to pick this one up or if you be, or or if you've been holding off for a deal this is the perfect opportunity for that and the next two sets on sale are a little surprising one being set 75352 the throne room diorama it sold at retail for a hundred dollars and now will be 85 dollars you know the vibe I get from this is it's another set that's going to be going at the end of the year, but they're just looking to oh, hit, hit, hit my microphone there, um, looking to just clear some storage of this set before it goes. I'm not sure if this set they're going to actually have on a crazy discount towards the end of the year like we saw with them other sets and sets for every single year. For example, the Razor Crest or the Gunship that were on a crazy discount, even though the Razor Crest is still on shelves, the Gunship, it was retiring. So who knows? We could see that. That is a possibility, but you can never be too sure. So once again, $85 for this is what I feel that it should originally have retailed for. So it's a great purchase, great pickup, my favorite diorama set. All right, and now the biggest surprise on this list has to be the Ghost and Phantom. Set 75357, it's going to be on sale for $130 compared to its $160 retail price. Now, this set is going at the end of the year as well, along with the rest of these sets, but... I feel this is a hot seller, and I don't know, I would have expected this to be double VIP points, maybe triple VIP points, have a one-off, but I know there's quadruple, so who knows, either double or quadruple VIP points, I would not have expected this to be a set that they would have for $130, I mean, I think it's a great opportunity to buy it, if you want to buy it, it's now, sort of like the throne room diorama, no, exactly like the throne room diorama, I don't see this set, or at least I don't think this set is going to be on a crazy discount of $100 or so towards the end of the year. Who knows? Maybe they'll also discount it at the end of the year for $130 as well, but might as well pick it up now and you only have to spend $30 more. Maybe you get the Bark Speeder Escape and you can walk out of the Lego store with the gifted purchases like the Trade Federation Troop Carrier, which is amazing. Overall, the three sets to have on sale, I really like, but now let's move on to the sets that are going to be quadruple points with purchase. All right, the first set on the list is the UCS ATAT -AT Walker. For $850, this set, obviously, as we all know, is a beast and it's going at the end of the year, sadly. I would have loved to see it get at least one more year of shelf life with how much fans have wanted this set. Now it's gone and I'm so upset. But if you don't have it, you're going to get quadruple points. I think that comes to 20,000 or 22,000 points, whatever that is. And I think that's like $170 off a of purchase. So that is an awesome deal right there if you don't already have it. I know it's super expensive. So if you really want to put a dent in your wallet and you've been wanting this set, pick it up now. It's the best opportunity to get this set. I think this is the best deal that you will find on this set unless you can find another crazy sale, which I don't see happening with how amazing this set is spoken about and how much the fans love this set. I don't see Lego discounting it to a $600 price point. I think this is going to be the one and only time it's on a sale like this, so get it now. Keeping it with the UCS MBS slide, the Moss Isley Cantina, four times VIP points, insider points. I keep on messing it up, but what a set. So many minifigures, so many miniature side builds. It's amazing. 
It's one of a kind, and this is making it pretty clear that I think maybe 2025 is the year that we're going to get a new MBS set on shelves. I know we have Jabba Sail Barge later this year, which is going to be very minifig heavy, especially if you get the Sail Barge and the Sarlacc Pit that's also going to be coming out later in the year as well. So those two sets going along with one another, very minifig heavy, very MBS minifig heavy, but it's not an official MBS set. So I think that they're going to have one in 2025, but enough speculation. That'll be here before we know it, talking about rumors about everything for next year. But a great addition to the quadruple VIP points. The final UCS set on this list is the UCS X-Wing. I'm someone who said I wouldn't pick this up for retail, and while this will still be selling at its retail price, four times VIP points, insider points. I'm never going to get this down, guys. One day, hopefully, I won't mess it up. But... This is the time to get it because even though it's still at retail, you're still going to be getting something back for it at least with the insider points. Didn't mess up this time. So I think that if you're someone who's waiting for a discount, maybe for it to come down to $200, now is the time because you will also get the gift with purchase. So that's something that makes up for it along with the four times insider points, obviously. The final two sets are the Coruscant Guard gunship. It's a gunship that's all right, nothing to really write home about. I mean, I like I like how it's unique. It's it's good in that factor. The minifigs are good, except for the helmet holes. Can't forget about that. But I need it to be a little bit bigger because it's just a little too cramped in there. But overall, you know, if you're on the side that likes it, I get that because I do like a lot of aspects about it as well as I dislike a lot of aspects about it. So I'm very intrigued to picking this one up as well, actually, for four times insider points, especially with how good the minifigs are in this set, except for the clones. Palpatine, in particular, amazing. But it's one that's really intriguing me and a lot of other people, I'm sure. And finally, the New Republic E-Wing vs. Shin Hattie Starfighter. Man, oh man, is this a great set. For $110, four times insider points, going at the end of the year, sadly, along with a lot of other Ahsoka sets. So I'm really happy that at least one of the Ahsoka sets made this list. I think that it was very much needed to have at least one of them. And all the Ahsoka sets, really great reviews. Everyone seems to love them. So I'm surprised that they didn't extend them at least another year, maybe six months more on shelves, especially the Ghost. But it's good to see that at least that they're gonna be for discounts or insider points in that realm so at least we have something we're going to be getting back for and lego saying yeah i know it's going a little early but here's a little something for understanding and being upset that it's going so at least it's on the list for rewards rather than the list of a couple sets that you're not going to get anything for picking up the set all right this list is long so i'm going to go rapid fire it's all the sets that are going to be two times insider points let's get right into it Set 40547, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. Next, we have set 40615, Tusken Raider Brickheads. Then we have set 40675, the new Clone Commander Cody Brickheads. An amazing Brickheads, may I add. Keeping it with the new May releases, we have another Brickheads pack with set 40676, The Phantom Menace. Then we have the helmet set starting to go, starting off with set 75304, the Darth Vader helmet. Please bring back the helmet line, Lego. I miss it. Now we're going to go with Starfighters. Set 75325, the Mandalorians, and one Starfighter. Then we have another helmet, set 75328, the Mandalorian helmet. Another Starfighter makes the list, one of my favorites, set 75333, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. We're going to go back to another microfighter, set 75344, Boba Fett Starship Microfighter. Then we have our first battle pack, set 75345, the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Then we have a set that I'm sure a lot of people forgot about with set 753460, Pirate Stub Fighter. And I'm surprised this didn't make the four times VIP list or even get discounted on sale to something like 40 or 50% off. I feel a lot of people didn't really care for this set and forgot about it. But anyway, let's get back to the list. Set 75347, the TIE Bomber. Then another helmet with 75349, the Captain Rex helmet, which that one is not retiring at the end of this year. We will have it for at least another full year, which is amazing. Along with Captain Rex, we have set 75350, the Clone Commander Cody helmet. Followed by the final helmet of that entire wave, set 75351, the Princess Leia Bausch helmet. Moving on to a diorama with set 75353, the Endor Speeder Chase diorama, followed by arguably the best midi scale set to ever exist with set 75356, the Executor Superstar Destroyer. 
Then we follow it up with our first ever Lego Jedi Temple, set 75358, the Tanu Jedi Temple. It's a shame this one didn't come with the Jedi Lamp. Following it up with set 75359, Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Then another Jedi Starfighter, set 75360, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, with another set that I feel has gone a little forgotten about just because... It's kind of just there, even though it comes with two really great minifigs. With set 75361, the spider tank, followed by another Ahsoka set, set 75362, Ahsoka Tano's T6 Jedi shuttle. Then, with our final microfighter on the list, set 75363, Mando's N1 Starfighter microfighter. Then, with the mechs, I know, everyone's favorite, the mechs. Who doesn't love mechs? Nobody raised their hand because they're terrible. Set 75368 Darth Vader's mech, set 75369 Boba Fett mech, and then 75370 the Stormtrooper mech. Man, was that exciting. Continuing on with sets that are actually exciting and people care about, set 75372 the Clone Trooper and Droid Battle Pack. Another midi scale set graces the list with set 75375 the Millennium Falcon. Then, Followed by set 75376, the Tantive 4. Followed by set 75377, the Invisible Hand. Followed by another May release with 75378, the Bark Speeder Escape. And coming in right behind that is another May release. Set 75380, the Moss Espa Padre Styrama. Then 75381, the new Droidica. Now we have set 75382, the UCS TIE Interceptor, brand new for May. Then set 75383, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. Set 75384, the Crimson Firehawk. And last but certainly not least, set 75387, boarding the Tantive 4. That was a lot to read. We just spoke about a lot of positives, but now let's talk about a few sets that are being excluded from May the 4th promotions. Starting off with the UCS Millennium Falcon. This one is pretty shocking to me, but at the same time, not really, just because it's been on shelves for so long, there is no retirement date in sight, so while it is being excluded, maybe I would expect at least double VIP points, maybe they take it down to the normal $800 retail price that it originally had before it was increased. While I am surprised that they're not doing anything for it at the same time, since there is no retirement date in sight, since it is selling extremely well, Lego's going out here and saying, we're not going to be losing any money or bringing in any more people if we had this on sale rather than if we didn't have it on sale. So for that, I understand it, but at the same time, it will be nice to have at least something for this for people who want to go and pick this up or even pick up another one for investing or whatever that may be. Then we have another Millennium Falcon, the playset one, which I believe is one of, if not the greatest playset Millennium Falcons that we've ever seen, which this one's retiring. So I'm very shocked that this one didn't even make the list. Then we have the UCS, well, not really UCS, R2-D2. I consider it to be UCS, so I'm gonna say it's UCS, which this one's a little bit um interesting because also on this list, the new $100 R2-D2 isn't gonna be included for any promotions, discounts, any of that. With two R2-D2s on the list, I would have expected maybe one of them to have some sort of discount. Then the ATTE Walker is gonna have nothing as well. Pretty sad to see, love that set. I would have expected two times VIP points for that as well as Luke's Land Speeder. That set's also retiring at the end of the year, so I would have anticipated it to maybe be taken down to 220, maybe even $200. I don't really know. I would have expected something for a UCS set that's retiring. The Fang Fighter vs. TIE Interceptor isn't gonna get any promotion, discount, sale, any of that either. And while I should be shocked about this at the same time, I feel that it's selling so well, Lego doesn't really feel that they need to entice people to buy it. At the end of the day, Lego's choice. I don't have a say in it. I would have just liked to see every Lego Star Wars set get at least some love rather than leaving off a bunch of amazing sets. But continuing on, we have the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. Last and certainly not least is the UCS Venator. And this is one of the sets I'm not really surprised doesn't have any insider point deals going on for it. But since it is supposed to retire in 2025, I would be very surprised if they don't have any double VIP, triple, quadruple, five times VIP, anything even if it's on a price discount in 2025 because it will be going off shelves at that point. So if they don't have anything for it next year, that's gonna be pretty concerning and I will be very shocked about that and disappointed, may I add. Let's get excited for this because it's a really exciting time. It's my favorite time of the year for Lego by far. I'm sure as well for a lot of you guys, this is your favorite time of the year. Now we get into the whole thought process of planning out 
What's the best way to go about this? Which sets do we get to maximize our insider points? What's the best way to get all the gift with purchases? Do we want to really go all out and get the UCS tie interceptor and ATAT, whatever we want to get. And let me know in the comments what sets and promotions you're most excited for, and I'll see you in the next one.